Hi 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 welcome to Codeo this is day 22 of 100 days of code and the question for today is called form a number divisible by 3 using array digits let me just read the question first we'll then discuss the approach and try to program this so given an array arr of integers of length n the task is to find whether it's possible to construct an integer using all the digits that are present in this array which would be divisible by 3 if it is possible print 1 if it is not print 0 so this is the question okay so what are they trying to tell you are given an array and it is of size n okay now uh, this array has numbers integers and they will be uh, of multiple digits okay so what i am trying to tell is that this is an integer with two digits okay and uh, there are numbers like this the, the integers can be of three digits four digits anything and you are supposed to form a new integer with these digits as its digits okay i think i have clearly confused this so what i'm trying to tell is that you are having this numbers so uh, the digits that are present in this number are 4 0 5 another 0 9 another 0 okay so these are the digits that are present in this array right not the numbers but the digits that are present in this array now you are supposed to form a new integer with these digits okay all these digits should be included so one example could be 4 uh, 000 please don't mind my handwriting and 5 9 so this is one possible integer which could be formed from these digits another one could be 4 5 9 0 0 0 right this is another possible integer so you can form these integers right with these digits and you are supposed to find if you could form an integer which would be divisible by 3 okay so you are going to check if this particular number is divisible by 3 so there is a test of divisibility for 3 which is you should add all the digits that are present in this number and it should be divisible by 3 if that sum is divisible by 3 you can say that uh, the number that you have formed is divisible by 3 so what i am trying to tell is that uh, to check if this number 40059 is divisible by 3 you are just going to add all the digits that are present in this number so those are uh, 4 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 which is 4 again plus 5 is 9 9 plus 9 gives you 18 okay so you are getting the number 18 you are just going to check if 18 is actually divisible by 3 okay so if 18 is divisible by 3 it means that 40059 is also divisible by 3 okay so that is the condition and uh, to do this you can just traverse through the array and for every number present in this array you are going to split it into digits you can add those uh, digits as sum and you can check if that sum is divisible by 3 but there is a problem okay uh, there are n numbers in the array and uh, these numbers themselves have multiple digits so the time complexity would be uh, greater than order of n okay because you are traversing through the array first and then you are splitting these numbers into digits so there is another variable so n cross uh, m maybe where m is the number of digits in these numbers okay but we are required to solve this question in order of n time complexity and not m cross n okay so there is another approach that you could use and that is the approach that you are going to use to solve this problem so let me just pull up this question and we'll just have this uh test case right okay so what you're going to do is that you are going to take this given array uh, let me just rewrite the array here the array numbers are 40 50 and 90 right okay so this is the array the approach that you could do is that you can divide these three numbers individually by 3 and take the remainder of them okay so uh, let let me just divide 40 by 3 right so what is 40 modulo 3 that is we need the remainder right so we are going to uh, mod 40 by 3 which will give you um 3 times 10 is 30 3 times 11 is 33 36 and 39 so you will get remainder as 
okay and similarly we are going to do for 50 okay so 50 mod 3 uh, there will be 45 48 so the remainder will be 3 uh, sorry 2 I'm sorry okay so 2 will be the remainder and for 90 the remainder will be 0 obviously right it is exactly divisible by 3 so the remainder is 0 so these are the remainders that we get now you can add these numbers and you can see if that number is actually divisible by 3 so when you add this you will get 3 right and obviously 3 is divisible by 3 so this array right you can form an integer with this array which is divisible by 3 so in this case you can just return 1 okay that will be the answer so the approach that you are using is that you are going to take modulo of uh, the elements present in this array by 3 okay so you are dividing this number by 3 and taking the reminders and you are adding them okay at the end of the iteration you are going to check if that sum is actually divisible by 3 if that is the case you can just return 1 if not you can return 0 so this is the approach now we'll move to geeks for geeks and try to solve this okay so here we are in geeks for geeks and i'll give the link to this question in the description so you can solve this after watching this video and uh, we are supposed to complete this method which is is possible you are given the array and the number uh, the number of elements in this array as input okay so as we discussed i'm just going to have a variable called sum which is going to be initialized to zero and you are going to traverse through this array okay we know that the array has n elements so i'm going to use a for loop i equals zero i less than n i plus plus and we are going to use this loop to traverse through this array and you are going to add the reminders of array of i divided by 3 okay the reminders that we get we are going to add that to sum so sum plus equals which just means sum equals sum plus array of i modulo 3 okay so this is what we are going to do now at the end of this loop you will have the sum of all the reminders that you get when dividing these elements in this array by 3 and you are going to see if that sum is in fact divisible by 3 so sum mod 3 equals equals 0 if that is the case you can return 1 and if it is not you can return 0 this is the actual code it's quite simple when you understand the logic and uh, uh, this is not something that you can obviously come up with but this is an observation and you could make use of this logic to solve this question now we'll try to run this and see if it works so the code is working perfectly fine and all test cases have passed so hope you understood this logic if you have any questions put them in the comments and i'll get back to you and uh, see you on tomorrow's episode of 100 days of code bye for now